This video is sponsored by Skillshare. That's some crazy piano techniques here. <laughs> Please don't try that at home. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Monique, I'm a classical pianist and today we're going to have a look at Lady Gaga's piano skills. But before we jump into it, here comes a little disclaimer. This is not a hate video against Lady Gaga. I think she's a great singer, performer and artist and of course I know that she's not a professional pianist. I'm doing these analysis videos not only to demonstrate common mistakes, which I think many people are making, probably also without knowing that they are making these mistakes, but also I want to show you what these people that we're analyzing are doing really well in their performances. So hopefully my comments will help at least some of you to improve their piano skills. At the end of the video we are going to do a little ranking of her piano skills compared to the other celebrities that we've already analyzed to give you a little idea of their level. Now before we get into the analysis of Lady Gaga's piano skills, here comes a little concert announcement. I'm very excited to come to Paris and play my debut at the Salle on November 23rd with all the Chopin tweets. You'll find tickets and infos in the link in the description box. See you guys in Paris. Now let's listen to Lady Gaga. When I first saw Lady Gaga playing piano, it was very obvious to me that she must have had some proper training with that instrument, since you can see her using lots of different techniques like fast octaves, arpeggios and trills, which is definitely nothing for beginners. Now, it's not trained to perfection, but there's definitely some technical basics here. So I did a little research on her piano education and apparently Lady Gaga started to play piano at the age of four, which by the way, is a really good age to start learning an instrument. And she took piano lessons and practiced throughout her childhood since her mother insisted her to become a cultured young woman. I mean, she definitely carries a lot of culture with her, but I highly doubt that this is what her mom had in mind back then. <laughs> okay, now let's have a look at three things that I think she's doing really well. Hand stability is something that everyone should learn from the beginning and consistently practice to make it a fundament of your piano technique. And you can see that Lady Gaga has a good posture and stability of her hand like you can see here. This is really, really good and a good basic for many other techniques. The main reason why we want to have hand stability are sound control and relaxation. The more you're lifting your fingers, the more energy you're wasting and also the weaker the knuckles are, the less control you're going to have over the keys. Finally, someone that is not too afraid to use their full arm to play piano. <laughs> a big misconception of playing piano is that many people think that everything comes out of the finger. However, your fingers are the last part of your body that you should think of. Are they important? Yes, of course. But much more important is to bring them in the right position at the right time with the right speed and the right weight and so on and so on by using your whole upper body. I did a video about the real instrument a long, long time ago where I'm talking about using your whole body as your instrument to play piano. If you're interested to learn more about that, you'll find the video up here. So as you can see, Lady Gaga is at least trying to use her elbow and her wrist. Now I have to be a little bit careful here because it's not used in an optimal way, let's say. Many times the movements are a little bit too short or too harsh or simply just moving in the wrong direction. But actually using the wrist and elbow and shoulders is actually already a huge step into the right direction. When you're down Having a good sense for timing is actually the skill to listen very carefully to yourself and your own playing and also have a feeling for the audience, like how the atmosphere is, how much tension there is in the audience. And it's really just the matter of a split of a second that can make a huge difference in your whole performance. And from these videos, you can definitely see that Lady Gaga is able to take the freedom and just let the music flow through her by simultaneously being very aware of where the tension points are and just being able to react to the moments. By you. 
this is already a more advanced skill since you definitely have to be able to let yourself go and be able to listen to yourself and to react in this moment, which most of the people won't be able to do because they're just way too focused on which note they have to play in that moment. Now, if you're wondering how you can learn the skill for yourself, I would recommend to step away from the piano and try to tell a story or a little joke in front of the mirror to yourself. Try to make it as entertaining and exciting as possible and just be performer and audience simultaneously. So basically learning how to act is going to help you a lot here. And if you are interested to get more insights into this, I would love to introduce you to Skillshare. On this online learning platform, you can basically learn everything. Just as I mentioned before, you can learn something like acting or filming or designing or something completely else like cooking or music theory. Yep, music theory. I'm looking at you. Yeah, you. <laughs> I know that you've been thinking about learning something about music theory for a long time now. So this is the perfect time to start. I'm sure all of you are having skills that they always wanted to improve or that they always wanted to learn, just didn't know where and how to start. And especially now during the summer break, I always feel very motivated to do something new that I normally just don't have the time for. I love to draw, for example, and I always wanted to improve my drawing skills. So I discovered for myself the classes by Brent Eviston on Skillshare, which are seven classes about the art and science of drawing. I find the so interesting that I'm always looking forward to the evening after all the work is done so I can continue following these classes. And you know what? I love it so much to use my brain for something else besides piano playing and all the work that I have to do and not being trapped on YouTube shorts or another boring Netflix series. So if any of this resonates with you, don't waste any more time. Use the link in the description box to be one of the first 500 people to receive a one month free trial on Skillshare. Okay, so talking about about improving skill, let's have a look at things that I think Lady Gaga could improve in her piano playing. Let's start with something that you can change immediately and that will improve your playing immediately as well. The sitting position. Very often I saw Lady Gaga in these clips sitting way too close to the piano. And what happens is that you're taking the freedom from your elbows to move because your body is in your way. So get a mirror or record yourself to see how close you're actually sitting to the piano and see if you're blocking yourself. And of course, don't go to the opposite extreme. Just let me show you very quick what a good sitting position would look like. The upper arm shouldn't be parallel to your upper body. It should be in an angle so your elbows can be in front of you and go from from one side to the other on the keyboard. He's got me like nobody. Mm, okay, not bad, but also not good. <laughs> uh, yes, she's playing lots of notes and pretty fast, but there's no control. What happens is that you can hear that the trill is very unequal. And I see many, many people out there making the exact same mistake as her. So let's have a look at what you should not do. First of all, don't lift your fingers like that. Delivering a nice trill is already difficult enough on its own, so don't waste your energy with this. Keep your hands relaxed. Trust me, this is going to be so much easier already. Now, the other thing is don't fix your arm and make it stiff. Your arm and your wrist are not supposed to be stiff like this. Trilling is the combination of fast finger action and arm rotation. It needs to be perfectly balanced out because as soon as you're overusing one of these, it's not going to work. So to practice your trills, I would suggest to train these two different techniques individually. For the fast finger action, you can practice in staccato. Just make sure that you're jumping away from the keys and not into the keys and pay attention that your arm and wrist are relaxed and not stiff. For the rotation technique, we want to have lazy fingers and everything is coming out of the arm. Now, the faster you get, the smaller the rotation is going to be and at some point it won't be visible anymore, but trust me, training it this way is going to help you to stay relaxed. What I love about her playing is that she's really wild and, you know, she's just going for it. So the attitude and the spirits are there, but the execution is not precise enough yet. Many times when she's going into this rage mode and she wants to play a little bit more excited, she's hitting lots of wrong notes, which could be avoided if she was a little bit more prepared.
playing big jumps, lots of octaves or any other type of crazy technique needs proper preparation. And the first and probably most important step here is to be on the key before you push it down. Very often I see people just like Lady Gaga just falling into the keys and the result is that the chances are very high that you're going to miss the right key and just hit lots of wrong keys. So make sure you stay close to the keyboards with your hand and be on the key before you push it down. This will feel a little bit strange in the beginning and also you might have to play a little bit slower in the beginning to get used to these movements, but immediately you will see that you're going to play much, much cleaner. All right, so as I said in the beginning, Lady Gaga has some serious piano skills and she's definitely on a much higher level than all the other celebrities that we've already analyzed here. So I would put her here. If you want to see a piano analysis of Taylor Swift or Timothy Chalamet, check out one of the videos here. And don't forget to grab your free trial on Skillshare. We'll see us in the next videos. Bye.